Graduation ceremony of the UNN Faculty for International Students is one of those celebrations that unite people from different countries and continents. On July 15th, over 90 students from 42 countries of the world received their Lobachevsky University diplomas. Of course, we worked really hard for this. And today, let's celebrate the end of our studies. Let's raise our diplomas and say happily and proudly, we are in the best university, Lobachevsky University. We get some good information, we get, uh, we get some good uh, our, our high level of education here in Nizhny Novgorod and uh, I think that the best university here in Nizhny Novgorod is, is the UNN because the best teachers and uh, it's, it's good to live here and here in Nizhny Novgorod we actually see the real action. If I have opportunity to stay here and build my future to find opportunity to work or to build my future here, I can stay because I like it. It's really good city and good uh, condition for living here. My future is very bright already because um, even as we speak now, I um, have some companies back home which have already um, contacted me that um, once I arrive in Ghana, I'll just go for an interview and start to work as soon as possible. So it means that um, coming here wasn't just a waste, it, it, it has really helped because when I even came here, there were a lot of things that I was missing, but I had very good um, lecturers which has um, um, given me more um, knowledge. So going back to Ghana, I'm going there with something new. For several years, students were learning much more than their specific disciplines. Russian culture classes help students get to know the customs, songs, arts and crafts and holidays of our country and left lasting impression on them. Students from China study Russian traditions with particular interest. Many of them choose to study liberal arts and socio-economic subjects at UNN. I study international relations. Our institute is known for high quality of teaching and education. We have recently hosted an international delegation and they highly appraise our institute. The knowledge and skills that I've learned here will be useful for me when I get back home to China. I will become a university professor. I study journalism. Today there is a great need in China for journalists who speak Russian. We need to know a lot about Russia, Russian culture, about the real country. Many students enter graduate programs after they finish their bachelor's degree. Along with the quality of education and academic reputation, the love for Nizhny Novgorod keeps students here. Here we have Kremlin, different monuments, Volga and Alka rivers. Even the air is pleasant here. I like everything. It's a cool city. It was very challenging, but today I realize it wasn't a waste. I'm very happy that I've chosen this university, and I can proudly say that Nizhny Novgorod has become my city. They all will follow their own path. It may start in Syria, Ukraine, Turkey, United States, and in many other countries, and will continue somewhere else. But Nizhny Novgorod will always be the place where they gather their strength and knowledge, learn to be independent, and spoke Russian language to people from many countries and cultures.